DaVinci Resolve is a really awesome editing program for Linux, macOS and Windows, which offers not only a really powerful video editor, but also motion graphic capabilities, tools for audio production and one of the best color correction in the whole industry. If you have ever tried to install DaVinci Resolve on Linux, however, you might have noticed that on some distros it just works right out of the box and on some it doesn't even open. So what's up with that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how you can install DaVinci Resolve on any Linux distribution. Right after you hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, let's get going. The first thing you want to do is to download the latest version of DaVinci Resolve from the official website. If you're using an Arch-based distro, then you can also download it from the AUR. But for the rest of us, just click on download, select the free Linux version, enter your contact data. Now I'm not entirely sure why you need to do this, but you could just enter any address you want. So after you've downloaded the file, simply double click it to open the installer and make your way to the end to finish the installation. Now you can already try to open it and see if it already works. But like I said, it kind of depends on the distro and which packages are installed by default. On Debian testing, everything worked right out of the box after the installation. But on Fedora, we still need to do a bit more work. So let's find out on why it doesn't open. You can do so by either already using the terminal or you just follow my steps in a GUI. Open up your file manager and navigate to your OS hard drive. Now that you're in the root folder, double click on the opt folder, go to resolve, bin and in here you find the resolve application. Now we want to open the terminal in this folder and run the application by entering dot slash resolve. As you can see, there is a dependency missing, so let's just go ahead and download it from the distro's repo. If you are missing a different dependency or the package name is not found, then you can do a lookup on most package managers or you just search for the right name on the internet. After you've installed the missing dependencies and you're on an AMD or Intel GPU, then Resolve should already work now. On Nvidia, however, it depends on how you've installed the graphics driver. On Debian, everything worked right out of the box. But on Fedora, simply installing the Nvidia driver doesn't automatically download all of its functionalities. For DaVinci Resolve to work, we need to make sure that CUDA is available. On Fedora, this can be done by downloading the package called XORG X11 DRV NVIDIA CUDA. Once finished, the program should now work as expected. Another problem that could occur later down in the editing process is audio delay. You know, when you're watching the playback in the window up here and the mouth is moving way earlier before you hear anything. Now, slight delays can happen when working with heavy footage, but if the delay is really noticeable, then chances are that you're missing an audio package called Alsop Plugins Pulse Audio. Make sure to close DaVinci Resolve and download it from your repository. After that, you should have a flawless experience when working with DaVinci Resolve. But I'm not done yet, so let's talk about some problems that might come up when you're using it. If you're experiencing crashes of the program when you're on an Nvidia GPU, then make sure that you're not using Wayland. X11 is still the recommended and better choice if you are on an NVIDIA GPU. You can switch to X11 by logging out of your user profile, click on your user and look for a drop down menu somewhere on your screen. This is where you can select X11 instead of Wayland. That is if your desktop environment even supported Wayland in the first place. Another, well, problem that can occur when using DaVinci Resolve on Linux is that you cannot import MP4 and MKV files. Unfortunately, that's a downside of the free Linux version in comparison to macOS and Windows, since those codecs do exist on those platforms. What you have to do in order to import videos into Resolve is to convert them into a different format. I personally use FFmpeg and the script to convert my videos from MKV to MOV. I'm going to upload my scripts to my personal Discord server, so if you want to use them, go ahead. But make sure that there is enough free space on your hard drive, because the file sizes will increase. Like, dramatically. Also, you cannot export in the MP4 file format on the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Linux. So yeah, you also need to convert them for YouTube if you don't want to upload like very big files. Converted exported videos can be annoying and needs to be done, but for imported videos, it's actually an advantage. Since MKV and MP4 are meant to be streamed and not to be edited with. So converting them into a file format like MOV actually gives you a huge performance boost while editing. So yeah, it has an upside at least. If you're using Resolve's Fusion to achieve After Effects like motion graphics, then you might also have noticed that some of your fonts might not show up as an option. 
This is because Resolve looks for fonts not in the local user directory. This can be fixed by either copying the fonts over to this location or you just install the fonts with root privileges. And yeah, that's everything you need to know if you want to install DaVinci Resolve on your Linux system. So if you've liked this video, then make sure to show it with a like and even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I also think that this video might be interesting for you. Go check it out. And all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. I'll see you around.